All right, guys. Um, sorry, I can't get everything in frame. It's just so big. So I'm starting with prep already done. As you can see, I have two coats of spray paint on here. This is the front. On the back, I did the same two coats, and then I also did a thin coat of black resin. And on top of that is my um, liquid latex so that we don't get any drippies like we did on the front. Um, I typically tape the front off, but I didn't this time. I was moving too fast. I don't know what I was doing, but it's actually okay. I'm going to show you how to get how to get the drippies off if you forget to tape. Um, and I may not tape anymore. I'll just take my heat gun. And heat up my resin and then um, <clears throat> you can just kind of take it right on off of there and this takes up a lot less time so now it's not heated up it takes up a lot less time than taping does um, taping would take forever and I was I was fairly um, careful that's why I don't have um, drippies all over on um, how I put it on the back um, but you know it's inevitable to get drippies in some places like these corners so um, this may be my my go-to honestly um, from now on I got some tape on the floor like I need to pick it up <laughs> so I'm gonna get these off and then mix my resin um, it's really gonna be pretty quick today because I'm only pouring a base layer um, so just one color today I'm not doing um, much of anything else I, I want to kind of cover this up first and then We'll go from there uh, tomorrow. So I'm gonna get this done, get these off, get my resin mixed, and um, then I'll come back. So this is the day that I did not have good luck with recording. So Rush did not save the actual recording of this, but as you can see, it's the base layer of the aqua blue, and I place down some iridescent vinyl that I cut up. The next step um, was me putting down the crystals the way that I wanted them to be um, so that I can now start pouring the resin and getting really the basic the base of the clock done. Alright guys so I am going to be using the Arteza Turquoise mica powder. That's what I use for my base layer as well. Um, and then up next, I'm going to be showing you a piece of the vinyl that I use. It's just a holographic um, vinyl from Cricut that I just kind of cut up in like triangles and um, laid it how I want, where I wanted my crystals, and then laid my crystals on top. Um, and these crystals are the acrylic diamonds. Um, I think those are the only ones I use. Sometimes I use acrylic diamonds along with um, crushed glass. So what I'm showing you there is um, some color shift spray paint that I mixed with the black um, that I used just because I wanted it to have like an iridescent sheen to it. So um, I'll be using that along with the turquoise um, and the gold. The gold that I'm using here is I believe the testers paint. Um, I have a few different kinds of golds that I use, but they all kind of give the same um, effects that I like. Um, you can see the little bottle there. So enjoy the show. Thank you. 
Thank you.
Okay, um, so this is my third layer. I don't know what happened to the pour of the second layer. Um, again, this day was just, not not just this day, but like this pour um, and technology was not working for me. So I lost the second pour, but you can see where I put in some line work um, and brought the turquoise out a little bit more. And so this is just me putting on a clear top coat um, to finish off the piece. Thank you. 